It's time now for a little latest in local news. In the news, these Jessup City Commissioners meet tonight at City Hall at 7 p.m. for their regular agenda meeting on the agenda under Old Business, CSX Property Lease Agreement, discussion of a fire truck with City Manager Nick Ellis and Boys and Girls Club Property Discussion slash Community Development Block Grant. Executive Director Shelby Anderson on hand for that. Under New Business, approval of the Millage Rate Ordinance, approval of 120 water contract renewal for copper and lead service lines, Review of the July 2024 financial statements. Executive session discuss personnel. Items with the city manager, items with the commissioners, items with the mayor. All that taking place tonight at City Hall at 7 p.m. The Wayne County Commissioners will hold a budget hearing on Monday, September the 9th at 5 p.m. Hearing will take place at the Wayne County Commissioners meeting room. We'll cover the proposed budget for the upcoming fiscal year. All interested citizens are encouraged to attend and provide input. The proposed budget is available for a review at the County Commissioner's office during the regular business hours. And the monthly meeting of the county commissioners is set for September 9th. In that meeting, and the commissioners will select the three people that will be Wayne County's election board at a work session recently. Commissioners stated they received five names from the local Democratic Party to choose from, five names from the local Republican Party to choose from, and five resumes from people just interested in serving on the election board. Again, at the September 9th meeting, three people will be selected, and those names will be announced on September the 9th. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, residents in Long County packed Ludwig City Hall last week. They're very upset about the county leaders proposing a millage rate hike of 27%. Meaning at times became heated. People spoke said people simply can't afford the increase and it would affect many people drastically. The county's proposal to raise the millage 27% cost most of the Long County community by surprise. One woman said 27% tax increase. No, ma'am, that will not happen. County Commissioner stated that there has not been a millage increase in Long County since 2008. At the meeting, commissioners did not say much. They simply let the people speak. One resident stated that someone is to blame and called it simply mismanagement of funds. Sheriff Craig Nobles of Long County told residents that his office has requested an audit to reveal potential wrongdoing. The vote on the proposed millage rate set for this Friday, September the 6th. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger this past week finalized a list of six presidential candidates whose names will be on the ballot when you head to the voting booth on November 5th. Besides former President Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, and Vice President Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee, Georgia voters will get a choice of four other third-party independent candidates. Independent Cornel West will join the Green Party's Jill Stein, Libertarian Chase Oliver, and Socialist Claudia De La Cruz on the Georgia presidential ballot. Ravensburger wrote that Independent Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is not qualified to appear on the ballot due to the fact that his address was listed inaccurate. That issue became moot this past week when Kennedy withdrew his candidacy and endorsed Donald Trump. Monitor this Thursday on the World Famous Bitch and Bob Show. Our special guest will be Tony Williams, former CFO with the Wayne County Board of Education, soon to be Wayne County School Interim Superintendent. Her first day on the job will be September 18th. Again, we look forward to the conversation with Tony Williams. That's this coming Thursday on the World Famous Bitch and Bob Show. We'll have some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes of the news, Chamber of Commerce has a special event today at Coastal Pines Technical College entitled Brew and Build, Creating Success for Your Business One Cup at a Time. Again, it's tailored for small businesses. That's taking place this morning at the Coastal Pines Technical College between 8.30 and 10 a.m. and sponsored by the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. The Blood Connection, a supplemental blood provider for Wayne Moore Hospital, is holding a blood drive in the hospital parking lot on Thursday, September 12th from 11 to 6. This drive is to make up for the one that was scheduled when Tropical Storm Debbie came through Jessup. And the Blood Mobile will be located on the right side of the main parking lot near the cafeteria. To make an appointment to donate blood, log on to thebloodconnection.org, type in JESSUP or the sponsor code 7980. Appointments are encouraged, but walk-ins are welcome. And since the need for blood never stops, donors are always appreciated. Since blood cannot be replicated, it must be donated well in advance of any need. All eligible donors are encouraged to donate blood to ensure a hospital's need for blood is, un is uninterrupted for all patients. Once again, that blood drive set for Thursday, September 12th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Once again, to schedule an appointment, log on to bloodconnection.org and type in Jessup or the sponsor code 7980. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.